so hello everyone welcome you all to this new video so in my previous videos i had started with the module one of the subject uh, digital system design using verilog so till now i had covered the concepts uh, related to combinational logic circuits and in the next video i had discussed with the uh, laws and rules of boolean algebra along with some simple set of examples for canonical conversion okay so in today in this video we are going to be discussing in detail about this canonical forms there are mainly two kinds of form under the generation of switching equations with respect to the truth tables okay so there are two main important kinds of uh, terms which you need to be knowing one is canonical sop and canonical pos okay sum of product and product of sum okay so these concepts we are going to cover in this video so stay tuned for this video please don't skip any part of the video if you want to understand the complete concept in a short amount of time so please please stay till the end okay and uh, like this video guys before you move further subscribe to our channel and let all other all of your friends know that we are creating this kind of content for all the video students okay so without wasting much time let us start with the today's video so today's video's concept is about generation of switching equation from the truth tables okay so what is how this truth table would be coming into the picture let us discuss that one by one firstly canonical sop that is sum of products and pos that is product of sum okay so let us see now a truth table consists of a set of inputs and outputs okay so this is not new to you guys you are you i guess you guys have seen the truth tables in many other uh, logic gates which you have constructed in that you would be having a set of inputs and for that you would be having outputs okay so that that is the basic truth table which it consists of set of inputs and outputs if there are n input variables then there would be 2 to the power n possible combinations with zeros and ones okay so these are the things which is available in a truth table so the value of each output variable depends on the combination of input variables so whatever the output you you would be getting generated that would be mainly based on the logic which you are using in that particular circuit and the combination of inputs would be very very important whether it is zero or one that you would be you should be able to analyze it okay so each output variable will have one for some combination of input variables and it would be having zero for some other combination of input variables so the outputs are probably if it, if it is represented in binary form the output should be either one binary one or binary zero okay it depends on what combination you are taking so this was all about in brief about truth table okay so those who guys those who don't know about the truth table so these things consist under the simple truth table binary truth table okay so therefore we can express each output variable in these two ways okay so these are the two ways mentioned here one is canonical sop form and canonical pos form so first let us discuss with canonical sop form it is also called as min term canonical form so why this min term word has come come because because in the term only they have mentioned sum of products okay so when products come i already told you in my previous video the min term consists of the products right the products are getting uh, the bit whenever the bit is low then uh, it, uh, the, you should be taking its complement and the uh, two inputs are getting multiplied so since they have mentioned it as sop sum of products so we should be doing first products and then we should be adding those products so that's why this term has come min term canonical form okay in the same way opposite for pos it is product of sum so it would be max term canonical form okay so let us see now this the canonical SOP form means canonical sum of product form. Okay. In this form, each product term contains all the literals. So what do you mean by literals? Literals are basically a connecting link between the inputs and outputs, uh, how it is getting combined and uh, how those are getting varied with respect to the different combinations of inputs. Okay. So that uh, literals means that. So these product terms are nothing but the min terms. Hence, the canonical SOP form is also called as sum of min terms form. First, identify the min terms for which the output variable is uh, 1 and then do the logical OR of those min terms in order to get the Boolean expression uh, corresponding to that output variable. This Boolean function will be in the form of sum of min terms. So, since they have asked to do the sum, so you, you would be knowing that 
the sum corresponds to the logical OR gate because in OR gate we are doing just the logical sum whereas in the AND gate we do the logical product right so that's why they, in this case they have used the logical OR gate for all the min terms to be uh, con getting converted in order of a boolean expression okay follow the same procedure for other output variables also if there is more than one output variable so they have given one simple example of a truth table that is here consider the following truth table here so here they have considered three inputs and one output named as f so you see here we have three inputs so 2 to the power n combination that is 2 to the power 3 2 cube is 8 so we would be having totally eight combinations starting from 0 0 0 up to 1 1 1 you count the number of combination 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for this the outputs they have written it as you see here 0 0 0 so see, since they have uh, told us to do the logical or operation so you should be do, uh, adding them up 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0 then uh, 0 0 1 and uh, for all the combinations you see the outputs here okay so here the output f that is this output side f is 1 for four combinations of inputs so that is you see here when when these outputs are high the outputs are high for the four, fourth combination 0 1 1 one zero one 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 zero and one 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 for these four combinations the outputs are logical high that is one the corresponding min terms are p dash q r p q dash r p q r dash and p q r okay why these terms because i have already told you in my min term explanation that is in this truth table wherever the logic is high that combination you need to be considering and i have told you for min terms when the input is logic 0 you, you, you should be taking the inputs complement right and when the input is logic 1 you should be taking the uh, input itself so here uh, in the min term they are getting multiplied so that's why here we have 0 so that's why it first term is p dash then we have q r similarly for 101 p q dash r so here it is 0 so that's why this would be q dash and here it is p q r dash and here the same way it is p q r okay so by doing logical or for of these four min terms we will get the boolean function of output f that is logical or means simply you should be adding these four terms therefore the boolean expression would be looking something like this okay after adding so this is the canonical sop form of the output generated from the truth table okay so you see here, this is one simple truth table where they have considered the logic high for these four combinations here. And for the, with respect to these four combinations, wherever it is high, those combinations are uh, written in terms of mean term. And uh, you should be performing the logical or operation so that you would be getting one Boolean expression. And this would be in the canonical SOP form, that is sum of products. So how it is sum of products? So these four are the product terms and those four product terms are getting added. So that's why it is sum of products we can also represent this function in the following two notations so this is one boolean expression we could be further representing this as like this you see here how it is given as f of m3 plus m5 plus m6 plus m7 so what are these these are the min term representation so as i've told you right this first term in min term uh, truth table uh, in the previous video this is m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 okay small letter m so wherever the, the output is logic high th those terms are getting added up since they are we are doing the logical or operation so m3 plus m5 plus m6 plus m7 or in other words you could be writing it as simple simply since all four terms are getting added but put one summation of m 3 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 okay so for sum of product form you should be representing in terms of uh, uh, summation okay uh, sigma so these are the representations so in one equation we represent in the function as sum of reps respective min terms and in other equation we use the symbol for summation of those min terms okay so hope you understood this very clearly canonical sop form sum of product form very very easy i have explained it very thoroughly so let us get to the next concept now that is canonical product of sum form okay uh, it is also called as max term canonical form so why it is max term because in max term the terms are getting added up okay and uh, product of sum so what here it is first you should be doing the sum and its product so that's why you are using the term max term the canonical pos form means the canonical product of sum form 
in this form each sum term contains all the literals so what do you mean by literals i have already told you so these sum terms are nothing but the max terms so some why they are called as max terms because in the max term truth table we have seen that uh, the inputs are the the input selected would be getting added up and the uh, what what do you mean by max term basically when the input is logic low then we should be taking the uh, input itself and when the input is logic high we should be taking its complement okay here canonical pos form is also called as product of max terms form first identify the max terms for which the output variable is zero and then do the logical and of those max terms in order to get the boolean expression function corresponding to the output variable so this boolean function will be in the form of product of max terms so follow the same procedure here okay that is consider the same truth table here in this truth table as given in this explanation that is identify the max terms for which the output variable is zero in the in case of sop form what we had done we had identified all the min terms when the output is logic high now consider the opposite for pos form that is wherever the outputs are logic low that is this uh, this one this one this one and this one for these four combinations the output is logic low that is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 okay so with respect to this again uh, write the uh, corresponding max terms so that is you see here they have considered the same truth table here output f is 0 for four combinations of inputs so the corresponding max terms are these four terms that is p plus q plus r p plus q plus r dash p plus q dash plus r and p dash plus q plus r why because p plus q plus r so first term is zero so p so since they are getting added up and uh, if the input is logic low the uh, the you should be taking the input itself that is p plus q plus r then we have p plus q plus r dash why because the logic is high now then we have p plus q dash plus r then we have p dash plus q plus r so these are the four terms here okay so now you should be doing the logical and operation why because you should be uh, multiplying these four terms because it is product of sum so for multiplication you should be doing the and operation so we will get the boolean uh, expression something like this okay after multiplication so this is in the form of canonical product of some form we can also represent this term in this following manner that is f of capital letter m0 into m1 into m2 into m4 that is this is m0 this is m1 this is m2 and this is m4 okay so here we should be representing we could, this is another way of representing that is uh, in the uh, sop form we have uh, represented using sigma here this is the symbol pi okay it is also called as uh, multiplication so okay pi of m 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 4 these are the positions you need to be mentioning in the bracket so in one equation we represented the function as product of respective mac terms uh, in other equation we use the symbol for multiplication the boolean function this boolean function generated is the dual of the boolean function this part that is dual means it is just the opposite of that okay so simply you could be saying that uh, it is the uh, same as the de morgan's theorem applied therefore both canonical sop and pos form are dual to each other so that this is the duality condition that is it should be completely opposite to each other you see these two equations uh, with respect to a uh, logic high and logic low we have uh, represented it using canonical sop and pos they are dual to each other functional functionally these two terms uh, these two forms are same based on the requirement you can use one of those these two forms okay so based on the requirement in the upcoming videos we are going to solve some problems with respect to this pos and sop in that you will be very very clear about when to use this sop and when to use this pos okay so yeah that's all for this video guys i hope you understood something in this video next we are going in this next video in the next video we are going to see with the standard sop and pos form okay so the, if you know this canonical form this standard form is also again very very simple and uh, very easy you would be easily understanding it so that we will see in the next video so stay tuned for that video guys like this video support us guys thank you